Welcome to SU News Channel. Gwyneth Paltrow shares rare photo with kids Apple, 20, and Moses, 18, as she admits to worrying about them being a part of the anxious generation. Gwyneth Paltrow shared a sweet family photo with both her children Apple, 20 and Moses, 18, while hosting an Instagram Q&A for her 8.6 million followers on Friday. After one fan asked her to share her last snap with her youngest child, the 51-year-old Oscar winner uploaded a stunning shot of herself standing in the center of her two kids, who she shares with ex-husband Chris Martin, on an empty road in the countryside. In the image, her look-alike daughter can be seen posing with one hand on her hip and the other wrapped lovingly around her mother's shoulders. Apple, who stands tall at 5 foot 8, looked statuesque next to her mother as she smiled softly at the camera while rocking a red and white gingham dress. Her brother looked every inch the younger version of their rocker father in a maroon polo and tan trousers as he stood by Paltrow's side. Paltrow looked elegant in a blue button down, which she kept partially unbuttoned, and white flared pants. Later during her Q&A series, she was asked to answer what trait she loves the most and which she worries the most about with her kids. I think my kids both really know themselves very well and that's a trait about them that I both love and admire," she said in a video. The Shakespeare in Love star continued, and I guess one I worry about for both of them is anxiety. This is, as we know, the anxious generation. So that's probably what I worry about. In May, Moses, who will be attending Brown University in the fall, graduated from high school. She, Martin, 47, and the former couple's eldest child, Apple, 20, were all in attendance to watch him receive his diploma. Paltrow and the Coldplay frontman got married in 2003 and separated in 2014, in what the Shakespeare in Love actress famously described as a conscious uncoupling. They have since both found love elsewhere Gwyneth in her marriage to Glee co-creator Brad Falchuk, and Chris with Fifty Shades of Grey star Dakota Johnson. However, throughout their years apart, Chris and Gwyneth have remained friendly co-parents to their two children. In April, Gwyneth admitted to her mounting anxiety over the prospect of becoming an empty nester. Moses, her youngest child, is headed off to Brown University in Rhode Island across the country from what Gwyneth has called her forever house in Montecito. It's kind of giving me a nervous breakdown, if I'm honest, she confessed at an event for her wellness brand Goop, according to The Hollywood Reporter. I started being like, oh my god, and I need to quit my job and I need to sell my house and I need to move. It's sort of putting things into turmoil, she said. My identity has been being a mother. Apple's going to be 20 in May. So I've oriented my whole life around them and their schedules and when school starts. She explained, you start to let go in increments when they're driving themselves around or doing certain things. It is a slower process. Gwyneth added, I feel really lucky because I have a close group of mom friends and we all raised our kids alongside one another. So we're kind of in it together. When she and Chris first split in 2014, she inspired widespread mockery by referring to their separation as a conscious uncoupling. However in the intervening years, the exes have drawn plaudits for how harmoniously they have brought up their children in spite of their divorce. Gwyneth recently shared how important it was to her and Chris to have an amicable co-parenting relationship for Apple and Moses' sake. She explained that she and Chris both really did not want to have them experience the divorce as a trauma, in a cover interview with Bustle. We knew that it would be hard, of course, but we didn't want them to ever feel in the middle, or that one of us was slagging off the other one. The wellness mogul disclosed, at that time, I did a very me thing, which was when I knew I wanted to get a divorce, I did this data collection of talking to adults who had been products of a broken home. She revealed, every single one of them said, I didn't care that my parents got divorced. That wasn't it. But the fact that they wouldn't speak to each other, that they couldn't both sit at a dinner table for my birthday. They said that was the most awful thing. You could see they held it with so much hurt and anger. I was like, that's what I'm never going to do. And we really didn't. Source, dailymail.co.uk. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.